Blessed be the name of the Lord, who daily loads us with benefits. My name is Patrick Talani. I'm a pastor with Christ Love Assembly, a parish of the redeemed Christian Church of God. We are reflecting together today from the Open Heavens Daily Guide, written by Pastor E. Adebo, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. The topic for today is Full Devotion Demanded. And the Bible passage is taken from the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 6, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. The memory verse is taken from Psalm 119, verse 10. With my whole heart I have sought you. Oh, let me not wander from your judgment. Let's have our reflections. We thank the Lord for a deep insight from our pastor, Yadeboye, from the Open Heavens Daily Guide today. If I'm permitted to say, I can comment that indeed Pastor Adeboye is the right person to admonish us on a topic like this. He understands what full devotion to God means. Unfortunately, that was exactly what King Saul did not understand clearly. The Lord instructed him to go and utterly destroy the Amalekites in the book of 1 Samuel chapter 15. God's instruction was clear. He had to destroy everything. Now he got there. He saw the beautiful things and spared them. He changed the terms of reference of the assignment that he was given to do. And he claimed that he wanted the booty so he could sacrifice to the Lord. The Lord rejected him and his sacrifice because he does not tolerate partial obedience. God demands total obedience. The case of Moses was pathetic. God told Moses, speak to the rock. But he went ahead to strike the rock. And that was the end of his ministry. I said that Moses' case was pathetic because looking at things more closely, he did not intend to disobey the law or dishonor the Lord. But unfortunately, partial disobedience is disobedience. This is where we need to be careful as children of God. We cannot be over familiar with God. The Lord gave a testimony concerning Moses in the book of Numbers chapter 12 verse 8 that Moses was a man he spoke to mouth to mouth. And yet when he disobeyed him, his ministry was terminated. I pray that the Lord will not reject you in the name of Jesus. Moses was so familiar with the way he used to deal with the Lord that he did not take time to understand the instruction that the Lord gave to him. And so he could obey to the letter. The Bible told us from the passage you read today that we should trust the Lord with the whole of our hearts and not to lean on our own understanding. That in all our ways we should acknowledge him. We cannot afford to be over familiar with God. We must take time to listen to his instruction carefully because there is no excuse for disobedience. If you want to serve the Lord, you have to make up your mind that you want to serve him with the whole of your heart and with everything without half measure. There cannot be a demilitarized zone according to what that singer sang. Our action point, ask God for grace to seek and serve him with your whole heart and never to stray from his commandment. Father, we thank you and we bless you because your instructions are always very clear and you want us to obey. We pray that, Lord, we will obey you in everything we do in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.